We are going to go find this answer together um, as we dive into the split system, which is the most common residential system. It's also the second most common commercial system. So likely a system you're going to see if you're getting any HVAC equipment on claims. Um, split systems uh, uh, start off with the condensing unit, They're usually sitting on a pad outside the building, could be up on a shelf or a bracket, and commercial settings actually might be up on that low slope roof. They um, a lot of times look different. They could be different colors, sizes, shapes. That's usually just brand specific. We're going to break that condensing unit, uh, condensing unit down step by step um, here in just a minute. On the inside, we're either going to have an air handler, furnace, or something that does both right? The unit you're looking at in that diagram actually is a furnace and does the air handling as well because it has that A coil up on the top of it. So if we're going to call it a furnace, we're going to have heating components in it, like I mentioned earlier. By that number two, we see a gas line, gas valves, burners, heat exchangers, exhaust flue. Um, by definition, that's going to make it a furnace. I'm going to show you a unit in a little bit that doesn't have that in it. And at that point, we're going to call that just an air handler only and things change around a little bit. So pay attention when I get to the air handler, air handler only slide. Then we have those semi-flexible copper lines connecting the inside to the outside, and it is a set. There's one going in and one coming back out. And um, you want the answer to the poll question, right? Well, I'm gonna keep you on the hook. It's not time to talk about it in detail yet. I just want you to know it's one of the major components. When we get to the components section, I'm going to tell you all about what it does, how it works, and what each one is called. Don't forget about the thermostat. It's the human interface, also monitors the temperature, tells the system when to turn on and off. And nowadays, those are smart home devices, okay? And they're very expensive. So don't forget about the thermostat being a key component. And we're not going to have time to go into detail today, but remember how we were talking about ventilation? Well, there's that ductwork system, and there's all different types, sizes, materials. Um, just know it's there's two sides to it. The side that brings the air to be conditioned to the unit called the return and the part of the ductwork that supplies that cooler dryer air and cooling mode called the supply. These systems, meaning all HVAC systems, are modular in design. So what I mean by that is they are designed to be repaired, all right, at the component level. So think of your automobile. Something happens to your car, in most cases, you don't go buy a new car unless it's totaled. But most of these times, these units aren't totaled either. So you fix them at the component level, and we're going to go into those components now. 